Welcome to Young Camel Toes Travel Vlogs. Follow me as I travel the world, discovering unknown places and doing ridiculous things with my friends. Please like, subscribe, and hit that post notification button. We are here on the backside of Anchor Wat. This is where the Watians came to make Mount Watia, also known as Anchor Wat Temple. Now it's very black, just like me. It's very chocolatey, just like me. And it's very big, just like me. The Way of Visit is an ancient passage used all the way back in 40 BC. Now, the king of visitors, named King Visit, came down here for a visit to visit the visitors. And he said, on this day forth, this shall be the way of visit. And for all visitors to come, they will remember me, bow down to me, and praise my name. So this is a shout out to King Visit of the visitors who visited right here like myself. So the original founders of Cambodian breast milk were made right here on this wall. And it dates all the way back to 1662. The walls are made of 80% limestone, 20% lemon stone. So it's kind of like a lemonade Sprite when you mix them together. Um, they often call this type of stone Sprite stone. Now, a lot of the depictions that you see on these walls come all the way from 5 BC. So, you know, back then, the ancient Cambodians, they used to make a lot of Sprite beyond these walls. And they also came up with Coca-Cola. Uh, the Americans stole it back in 1950, but the originators were the Cambodians. They actually were the ones who created light. Back in 4 BC, they used to sacrifice donuts to the god of donuts, Krispy Kreme to be exact. What they used to do was take about a dozen donuts they put it in the middle of this square. They would dance around it for about 30 minutes and they would throw fire on the donuts. Now, if you ate the donuts, it'd be very bad for you. But if you let the donuts burn, it smelled very nice. Noah heard a message from God and God said, I want you to build a big boat and put two of every creature on earth inside of your ship. Now he built the ship right here. The ship wasn't all that big. It was kind of like, the biggest McDonald's you've ever seen. So he built the biggest McDonald's slap, slash ark right here. And he put two of every creature inside. Now you might be thinking, man, how did so many animals fit into one ship? But what you don't realize is Noah had a way of shrinking the animals. Kind of like, honey, I shrunk the kids. So he used his little space gun and he shot the animals. And the animals went from large specimens to thin, thin paper strips. And he put them on the ark and he sailed around for 40 days and 40 nights while everything was flooded and everything else died. And uh, he came back and they uh, they ate some, uh, some ice cream and some Coca-Cola and they called it a day. They did Kumbaya with all the animals because the animals knew how to speak English back then. And they all said, okay, let's go back to the normal world and, you know, us eating each other and, you know, being a, a specimen and being a species and let's set up this food chain. And Noah and the animals set up the food chain right here while eating ice cream and drinking root beer floats. We are now on the west side of Angkor Wat. Now, the west side is where Biggie Smalls and his goons came to shoot down Tupac. Tupac was out here with his boys screaming out West Side Till I Die, Thug Life. And Biggie Smalls came through and said, baby, baby. He left out three rounds of a shotgun and there was no more Tupac. Tupac fell right here. Now it's said that he's still alive somewhere inside of this temple. We don't know where, but I have a feeling He's somewhere in that wall. He's, he's Tupac's back there, man. He's making up some records for the year 3000 when he makes his return as the king of West Side Anchor Wat. I am now walking through the ancient door of sunlight back in the beginning of time. Anytime somebody walked past this door, they were immediately hit with sunlight. Now, the crazy thing about that is the sunlight still hits people the same as it did when this temple was created. Now the sun granted the humans a wish. The sun said, every time you humans walk past this door and come outside, I will hit you with some sunlight. Now, every single door you walk through to go outside, 
you hit with sunlight. This is the original door, though. Sunlight. Here is a place where the dinosaurs first landed back in way before we had time in space. The dinosaurs first came here and built this temple to honor the god of dinosaurs. The god of dinosaurs' name was Dionysus the dinosaur. He liked to drink a lot of wine, eat cheese, and of course, he was a dinosaur. I am now standing in the exact location where Barack Obama made the infamous Obama phone. Now, the Obama phone was made of cherries, sugar, some aluminum, and a lot of taxpayers' dollars. Now, the idea behind the Obama phone was to allow men and women to text their sneaky link without using their main phone. It was for drug dealers to be able to sell drugs and the IRS not know about it. It was for crackheads to use crack, lose their phone, and get a new phone without the government knowing about it. And at the same time, the government knew about it. It was a wonderful idea, because now Barack Obama could know the ins and outs of everybody's thoughts, feelings, emotions, hopes, dreams, and aspirations. The people were sprayed with chocolate, and that's one of the reasons why this temple is so dark and brown, just like myself, because the three musketeers came down here and were just shooting chocolate everywhere. Kind of like Willy Wonka. Fun fact, Willy Wonka built his chocolate factory after visiting Anchor Wat. He saw all of, the, all of these chocolatey walls and he said, you know what? Why not just have walls of chocolate, but let's have land of chocolate. Let's have machines of chocolate. And he tried to make the first chocolatey human being. Now, it, it was not a success, but he left the chocolatey human being right down here. He was quickly aided by the ants and rodents, but he once existed. A C4 explosion went off in 1964, but these walls were too tough for it. The explosion went off and absolutely nothing happened but dust flying in the air and a few Buddhist monks saying, Wooha! Back in 10 BC, lots of women would come here and give birth because they believed that the God of Angkor Wat would bless their children with lots of money, luck, and good fortune. So right here in these walls, you had millions and millions of Cambodian babies being, being born by the millisecond. They would just come right here. They would bow beyond these statues, sniff the flowers, take a little bit of, and they would give birth to the most lucky babies in the world. Many of which became monks, politicians, astronauts. The ancient rock of Rakian and Karwatian. This rock, was here before the earth was created. I mean, it was once said that this rock is the reason this whole universe exists. Behind this rock holds more power than all of Thor's hand. I mean, both hands and feet for that matter. Now that rock first created that temple and that temple created that wall and that wall created me and then I made that umbrella, that umbrella made everything else you could see around me. Anchor Watt has a circumference of 5 billion feet long and 3 billion feet wide. So it's the biggest temple in all of Cambodia. The Kool-Aid man first said, oh yeah, while inside of this temple, because he could fit inside of it. Now you see the Kool-Aid man tried to go to a lot of temples in Cambodia and he couldn't fit inside. But when he came into Angkor Wat, he said, oh yeah, I could fit about 10 of my cousins in here and we would all be quite comfortable. I'm walking down the sacred passage of sacred passages. Now this sacred pathway leads to another sacred pathway, at leads to another sacred pathway, at leads to a sacred site that is actually the most sacred sites of all sacred sites. It says that if you view the sacred site too long, you can become sacredly blind. But if you become sacredly blind, then you will have sacred enlightenment, which leads to something I can't even talk about, man. It's just too sacred. I'm sitting at George Washington's viewpoint. George Washington came here and he thought long and hard about what he should do about the Civil War. Now, while looking out of this, he was eating two Cracker Jacks. He had some pancakes from the Cracker Barrel and some KFC. 
So George Washington was having a really good meal when he was trying to, to figure out what to do in the Civil War. Now his answer to the Civil War was to allow Abraham Lincoln from the future to come down and, and, and help with the Civil War, man. So when it happened, a lot of people credited Abe Lincoln for saving the people, but actually it was George Washington.